Hello everyone, welcome to part 60 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first getting the e-commerce setting panel and then we are going to work on the e-commerce website as well with all new features, uh, with all new functionality, okay. So uh, now from this video we are going to start working on the product attributes and in this video we are going to create product attributes table and we are going to insert some dummy attributes with the help of Cedar. So first of all, we are going to learn that what actually attributes are. Okay, so right now uh, we able to add the products as we know that uh, we able to add the products. I'm going to log into the my admin panel once again and here I'm going to see the products here. Okay, I'm going to close this one and you can see the products we can able to add many products. Okay, many dummy products we are able, able to add. Now these products can further have attributes. So attributes are like the sizes if we want to add the sizes of one product that like one product can have many sizes like small medium large uh, see it is same like if you will go offline if you will go to some shop and uh, will ask for some t-shirt okay then he will ask that which size of t-shirt you want so same thing we are going to do here okay so I'm going to uh, create one table here so that to explain you this thing further uh, for the persons who are newcomers in e-commerce and don't know anything so uh, for them it is uh, uh, we need to explain them that what actually it means okay so i'm going to show you here so that it will be clear to you okay i'm going to add this table like this okay so now you can fine okay so uh, suppose uh, we have added uh, one product okay so uh, see uh, i have added one product like uh, red casual t-shirt okay red casual t-shirt so this product i have added here like i have added here as well red casual t-shirt or blue t-shirt any okay so red casual t-shirt i have added so after this uh, this one is the size and this one is the sku and this one is the price and this one is the stock okay so i'm going to make them bold as well and this one also bold as well okay so see what sizes are available for red casual t-shirt so there are like suppose there are three sizes available small medium and large okay so every size is having some sku like uh, red casual t-shirt is having some product code common product code like rc t001 suppose this is the product code so what is the sku sku is stock keeping unit remember this one stock keeping unit okay so sku uniquely identify every size of product it uniquely identify that which size of product you want suppose like small sku is rct 01 s okay so it clearly tell uh, see this is not for the customers this is for the vendors this is for the shopkeepers okay so the vendor he will ask for the manufacturer will uh, will ask from the manufacturer that this size of product requires see huge demand for this one like uh, it is having like suppose it is also having price for the customer thousand price and it is uh, its stock is 100 so in the same way i'm going to add for the medium m and i'm going to add for the large l okay and its price is 1200 its price vary and its price is 1400 okay and stock available is post 80 and stock available is post 50 okay so the uh, maybe the demand for this product is more than small and large okay and its stock uh, keeps on reducing so the uh, shopkeeper uh, or the website owner will see that which stock is having the maximum sale okay so that uh, he can ask the manufacturer to uh, to increase the production of that product okay so so these are the things these are the attributes that we are going to add in our website okay so here we are going to add see no now we are not going to add the separate module 
like uh, we used to add the separate module in the earlier e-commerce series we are going to add we always add here attributes separate attributes and separate images but now no we are going to add these attributes here only in our add edit product form like we have added the images we are going to add the attributes here in the single form so just one time uh, the admin is required to fill this form just one time for the product and that is finished okay so uh, so first of all we are going to create in this video the table and after that we are going to add some entries with the help of seater i hope that this is very much clear to you if still you have some doubt you can always ask me under video description okay you can always ask your queries okay so now let's create uh, table and table uh, we can either create from uh, migration or we can directly add uh, uh, from the php my admin so we are going to add from the migration so i will uh, right click to my project this is my project folder services new terminate folder you know how to run the artisan commands so here i'm going to create the migration file php artisan make migration create products attributes table okay so i'm going to open this one here create products attributes table so here we are going to add table your product id so for that we are going to add these fields that uh, uh, as size sq price and stock these fields we are going to add product id we have added uh, to uh, to uniquely identify that uh, this size belongs to which product okay so now we are going to add uh, size After that, we are going to add the SKU string. We are going to take for the SKU as well. After that, we are going to add float and uh, float for price. And then in tier, we are going to take for stock because uh, stock uh, will never be in float value but price can be in float value okay so after that we are also going to add the uh, status 10 integer for status sometime the status uh, we are going to disable the attribute okay so that's why we are going to take the 10 integer for status fine so we are going to run a uh, check once id in tier for product id string site string fku uh, float price in tier stock 10 in tier status timestamp so now we are going to add uh, php artisan migrate command we are going to run php artisan migrate command and see table has been created we are going to check the table has been actually created okay fine please so now we are going to create some values with the help of seeder so i'm going to uh, create the seeder file okay so but before that we are going to create the model products attribute model okay so that we can use that model in seeder php artisan make model products attribute so now we are going to add the seeder file okay php artisan make seeder products attributes table seeder fine so it has been created and now see we are going to open this file uh, products attribute table seeder products attribute table seeder okay fine so now first of all we're going to add uh, attach the model with this file include the model 
models and products attribute okay so now uh, here we are going to add uh, products attribute records okay uh, products attribute records that we are going to insert ID product ID product ID uh, like I'm going to add uh, I'm going to add the attributes for any of the product like uh, the products that we have added so far okay uh, I'm going to open okay like uh, this one blue t-shirt okay I'm going to attributes for this one okay so it can be having a small medium and large sizes so I'm going to add the attributes for this one so its product id is one you can see okay product id one then uh, after that which field it is the site site we are going to add small medium and large okay i'm going to add the site for this one like i'm going to add the small site what after that i'm going to add the sku sku like i have told you that sku is matching sku like after that we are going to add the uh, s here i'm going to put it in quotes like this okay this is the sku after that uh, uh, we are going to add we're going to check here our price and stock okay price price suppose the price we are going to make it thousand and the stock i'm going to make it uh, hundred also status we are going to keep the status as one fine id2 here id3 and now product id1 fine medium and large size and here uh, sku uh, one then medium and then large and finally price 1200 after that 1400 and here stock 80 and here stock maybe 50 status for all is one okay so i hope that everything seems to be fine here now i'm going to insert these attribute in the products attribute model insert I'm going to insert this product attributes this one i'm going to make it small as well products uh, product attributes product attribute records okay so this one like this so i'm going to add this one in database cedar I'm going to disable this one and add uh, this shader file there and finally I'm going to run the php artisan db seed command so that I can able to uh, sorry php artisan db single colon php artisan db seed and this has been done seeding done and now we can see that we able to create the uh, uh, uh we able to insert the attributes for this product id one okay so this product is having the three attributes small medium and large size uh, all three attributes is having the different sku okay so that we can uniquely identify every size and uh, every size is having the different price according to the uh, uh, according to the size the price uh, keeps on increasing you can see the small is having thousand then medium 1200 then then large 1400 uh, sometimes the price is same for all the sizes but sometimes it differs okay and stock you can see the every uh, sq is having the different stock okay and status we can always disable or enable the status of a any attribute so in the next video we are going to insert these attributes from the add product add edit product form so we are going to add that script uh, we are going to search one script in which we can add the multiple attributes together okay so multiple attributes so multiple fields we are going to add see these multiple fields we are going to manage from this form uh, we are going to add 
uh, the script add remove kind of script we are going to add i'm going to show you that what we are going to do in the next video for this so please stay tuned for the next video that's all for now have a nice time goodbye